Hey guys, it's Sunson here, and uh, I'll be going over a rally attack that I did during KVK on Sun ZLD from People's Republic China Guild. So without further ado, let's go into the video. He was sitting at 186 million might, and his leader was in the bright fort, which made me okay with doing a low man rally. Our first rally was unsuccessful. It was a 30% cavalry, 70% archer build. I uh, only had 1.2 million troops in my rally because we didn't have that many people online. And I wanted to knock out the cavalry or the royal guard and then move on to the cavalry, which is why I went with that build. But we didn't have the troops to do it. Uh, so. That's the reason for that loss. The, with the remaining um, infantry they had, I decided to do the same build just to get rid of the remaining infantry and to knock out as many cavalry as I possibly could. When you're doing these rally attacks or even normal attacks, it's important to choose the right heroes. Uh, I used two cavalry heroes and the rest were archer heroes. And I had Gingello 57 from CW7 tracking him with the 8 hour rally so that way when he did get ported out of the forest I would still have his coordinates. However that didn't work out the way I had planned on it working out as you'll see later. Just healing my troops here because you don't want to attack someone with units in your infirmaries so that way you lose troops when you actually attack. It's very easy to forget that kind of stuff when uh, you're in the middle of trying to rally somebody before they come back online. I have nothing personal against this guild, by the way. Uh, just I like to have fun and attack people, so that was the reason behind this. And I didn't want to attack the fort that he was in because I wanted his leader to be out of the out of his castle as long as possible. Because when you don't have your leader, you don't get any of your gear bonuses or any of your um, talents, so it pretty much was just base troops versus me. And here we go with the second rally. It's at 175 million. There will be fire on this one, and he did have a pretty nice bounty on him too, 21 million gold. Which was pretty nice to pick up. And there he gets ported out of the forest because he got burned. And there's the results. So it was nice to have that a million cavalry dead for the, with all the archers that we sent. And here I am trying to get his cords really fast. Turns out during KVK if you have a fake rally on somebody in the forest it actually cancels your rally when they get ported out due to an attack. And this is me just getting a message saying that the rally got cancelled, which was kind of new to me. I didn't I didn't know that, so I was like in awe that he didn't have the cords. Luckily he's the leader of the guild, so I was able to just click on the bright fort and get his cords. And I know that he didn't get ported out of the kingdom because his leader was still in the bright fort. And that's how I got his new coordinates. Posted in guilds so that way they know where I was going. 
And the next attack that I was using was, I believe it should be all archers. I have my presets. But I needed to change my leader to an archer leader. So that way I got my gear and talent bonuses. I actually used some infantry. And I make a mistake here, I believe, and I use, yeah, I use Trickster because I'm in such a rush, which was a really dumb move. James asking how many points I have. No time for that, bruh. Got a zero, this guy. Most important thing, if you're involved in any rallies, if you have a good rally leader, is ensuring that you listen to what the rally leader is asking for. I made a mistake and asked for cavalry at first, but luckily they came out with this new feature where you can send people's troops back. Before you used to have to kick them out of the guild and invite them back for them to send troops back. So as you can see here, there's a couple of people who sent what I said at first, so I send them back. And the way I, I think of um, the troop compositions is it's kind of a rock, paper, scissors system. So one type of troop beats the other. So if they have cavalry, then you should be sending archers. If they have archers, you should be sending infantry, so on and so forth. However, due to the fact that usually infantry only get hit first, uh, for some reason cavalry get hit sometimes as well, um, you should send cavalry on your first attack, like heavy cavalry, if they have a decent amount of infantry. And you should be sending a little bit of infantry to take the brunt of the archers, because defensively most people have a ton of archers. As you can see earlier, he had over 2 million archers. So the infantry are there to soak those archer attacks, but they're going to get killed by the, inf the cavalry, which there shouldn't be as many. And Asgard sent fire trebuchet. And I was like, mm, we, can't have, we can't have no fire trebuchet. So I send those back. Never send any type of catapult to a rally. It's like the most cringe worthy thing you could possibly do. I don't believe I've healed my troops yet either, which, like I said, when you're trying, if you, especially if you're the rally leader, there's so much going on that you just don't think about everything sometimes. Here I'm swapping gear. I had cavalry legs on. I switched to my infantry legs. I'm also going to switch to... Uh, that ring only has cavalry and infantry attack, but that ring has more infantry attack. So it helped out a lot. And I finally remembered to heal my troops. Went through a lot of resources during KBK.
This KVK was very disappointing at first. Um, a lot of people were more prepared, in my opinion, for it. I didn't get as many troop kills at first, but uh, I did. The big thing I didn't like was the fact that we weren't getting reports in the beginning. It really affected. I mean, with me, the the interest I get out of this is comp versus comp. So I like to send a certain comp versus another guy, and that really hampered that. Here's the third rally. We don't do as much damage with this rally, but we do take way less damage ourselves. So if you go through the reports, um, the difference between our might losses, like this one is 14 million difference. The one before that is like 10 or something like that. And we lost the first one. So the might difference is bigger each time. And that took all of his cavalry out, so I switched to an infantry leader because my next attack is going to be full infantry. Because all he has is archers. And a lot of your big attacks are set with um, when the opponent has a lot of archers left and no. Uh, nothing else, and the other person is doing a full infantry attack. As you can see, I had no infantry at all, so I had to send grunts. I could have sent tier 4 archers, which probably would have been about even. But I would rather. I'm, I'm just a big comp guy. Here I switch to my infantry talents. As you can see, it's all maxed out on infantry, and then range is what's used on leftovers. Now I switch my gear to my infantry gear. Usually I'd use this helmet, but I decided against it because that's the highest infantry attack headpiece. And that body is a very good infantry piece, and it had infantry gems. As you can see, one of his uh, guildmates poured it in and actually reinforced him a little bit. And just as a heads up for anybody that does want to reinforce one of their guild members, at this point, the best thing to do, or when someone's getting routed, is to send a lower tier infantry than they already have. So for instance, if he had tier 3 infantry, you'd want to send tier 2 infantry at this point because then you take those the initial damage and you want to send as much as your infirmaries can hold so that way you're taking the initial damage you can just heal those troops up he all his troops are dying at this point so you want to send a good amount of infantry to take that brunt now if someone is a what people would call a trap account with uh, a bunch of tier 1 troops, then for them you'd want to send um, cavalry or archers, whatever the case might be. If they have a lot of archers, then sometimes I'd prefer cavalry just to get rid of the infantry base that they're going to send, that the rallier is going to send. This guy sends infantry, cavalry, and archers, but luckily I had someone send a little bit of each so I didn't really worry about it and you're gonna also see that at the last second of this rally that someone from CAO ports in and start attacking us. I 
I switch to this helm because it's just better overall for an overall attack. Although this is archer strength. And there he is, he ports in. Not someone I'm worried about at all because there's nothing he can do to me, but I was worried about my guildmates. And unless he has no research really, or he's just military research, then his research isn't very high. With 3 million troops, unless he's using a false army. And after this rally hits, with all these people in, I didn't really want to risk my um, guildmates getting hit anymore, so I just decided to send in solo infantry attacks to finish them off. Very important to choose your heroes so that way you get the biggest bonus you possibly can. So with a million troops he didn't really stand a chance anymore. Even with two million, with no leader, I could have probably soloed him down really easily. As you can see, I didn't heal my troops because I was in a rush to attack. Luckily, I just lost Grunt, so... Almost zeroed after this one. Uh, he had a couple left and he got reinforced as well. Get a new scout due to the reinforcements. This guy also had 80 million gold, so I want to take that. And since he only sent cavalry and snipers, I decided to send full archers because archers have a 2 to 1 advantage over cavalry and a 1 to 1 with other archers. Another guy called, recalled his reinforcements, which is smart on him, unless they just would have went to the infirmaries, but I was going to easily solo this guy. And with this last hit, that was pretty much it. I'll try and put out some more videos, but uh, I had fun with KVK. Thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to comment, sub, like, whatever you guys want to do.